Now on Channel 9, after a family told us that a young girl was forced to clean her school's bathroom with a toothbrush, tonight we've learned the South Carolina principal behind that punishment is no longer at that school. I was surprised. I, I didn't. Yesterday when I got the phone call, they was replacing her. Some parents and teachers at Jefferson Elementary School used signs to protest that decision this morning. Now, Chesterfield County School District officials told Channel 9 that they investigated the toothbrush incident and then made the decision to put another principal at that school. Our Tina Terry is live in Chesterfield County tonight after speaking to parents and administrators about that decision. Tina? Oh, yes, Erica and Scott school officials say that that new principal will start at Jefferson Elementary School on Monday morning, but they did not elaborate on the results of that investigation, leaving many parents asking questions. I don't know. All I know is my grandson seemed to like her. Sheila McInvale talking about Andrea Garrison, the former Jefferson Elementary School principal. Parents received this letter yesterday saying Garrison will be replaced by Principal Angela Dimby on Monday. I was surprised. I, I didn't. Yesterday when I got the phone call, they was replacing her. I didn't know why, so I was really surprised. Others were outright angry. Some even protested the decision this morning with signs showing their support for the principal they call Mrs. G. I thought it was just inhuman. Irene Avery was disappointed in the protest supporting a woman she says humiliated and demeaned her granddaughter by making her clean a school bathroom with a toothbrush. She says it was punishment after her granddaughter put too much toilet paper in a school toilet last month. She says her granddaughter had to see the signs of support when she came to school. They were so upset and crying. The only thing I could think of was get there and see what you can do. I just can't believe this in Chesterfield County. And again, officials didn't say much about that investigation and what they found. They also did not tell us if Garrison was fired or if she was just repositioned in the district somewhere else. We'll continue to push for answers. We'll let you know if we receive any new information. Back to you. All right, Tina, thank you.